Hi guys, this is Ryan with KidsTabletWiFi.com and today we're going to go through the Navi Junior Nick Junior version. It's an updated version of the original Navi Junior. has some updated specs and a lot of extra content. It's $40 more. Uh, definitely worth the extra money to get the updated processor, the extra memory, and all the Nick Junior stuff. And we'll get right into the review in just a moment. So in the box what we're going to get is our Navi Getting Started Guide, a USB cord, and this is what you're going to use to charge it or to connect it to your computer. Um, they've actually upgraded the wall charger so you have a much better, much sturdier wall charger with um, the Navi Junior Nick Junior version. And then we get our tablet, and I've already got it loaded up. And also I had a person that was having trouble with getting their credit card to load for the COPA uh, Agreement Act. So if you run into that issue, there is an option. It's in light gray. It's kind of hard to see, but it says, I can't get my credit card to work. If you push that, you can have Navi send you an email and you can give your parental consent for the COPA Agreement um, through that. And they will give you an activation code to get it started. So if you have issues, um, some banks go ahead and deny anything purchased over the internet or through certain internet sources. So if you have that issue, just click I do not have a credit card. And that will get you started. Uh, next we're going to go through the specs. And Alright, so we're going to go through some of the specs on this. Uh, this is a 5 inch screen corner to corner. It has a 800 by 480 resolution. Um, I actually rather enjoy the screen. I don't see any of the pixels. Uh, it's very defined um, for the size. Uh, they also upgraded the processor to a NVIDIA Tegra 3. It's an A9 quad-core processor. Uh, does a really good job to run this tablet. I mean, obviously it's only a 5-inch screen, so that makes it a little easier, but I'm glad they upgraded it. Uh, it eliminates a lot of chances for programs to freeze. Um, it is running the Android 4.1 and that will uh, be your operating system. It gives you more flexibility uh, to add things. Uh, it also comes with two speakers in the front and those are right there. And you've got your rotating 2 megapixel camera which is actually really good. And you can use it for videos, photos, and even video chat. So if you like to Skype, uh, that will be an option with this tablet. Uh, you also have a microphone down here in this top right corner. Uh, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so if you have Bluetooth headphones or something like that, you can definitely connect those. Up top we have um, some volume buttons. In the back we have a place for the Kanabi accessories. And it comes with an orange case because this is the Nick Jr. version. Uh, they also upgraded the memory. Uh, originally, you would get 16 gigab or 4 gigabytes, and they've upgraded it to 16 gigabytes. You can also expand the memory with a 32 gigabyte um, mini SD card. And I'll show you about what you're going to get starting out. So in storage. Uh, I've added a few things already, so that's 8.67 gigabytes that is available. That's probably one of the reasons they upgraded it to 16 with all the Nick Jr. stuff on there. Um, it basically used you know, almost 7 gigabytes of space. Um, so I added my SD card, gave me a lot of extra space. On the bottom, you've got your USB port, and again, that's to connect to um, your computer or to the charger. You have your headphones, and then again, I like how they're hiding it on this one so your kids can't lose that micro SD card. So it's pretty much covered, but it is underneath that corner. Um, it has this nice orange rubbery shell, makes it easier to hold. It's uh, very grippy. So that's pretty much on the specs. We're going to go through um, a lot of the content, and I'll kind of show you what you can do in the next portion of this video. All right, so let's go through some of the entertainment and some of the stuff you can do with this. Uh, I popped in my SD card. This is Transformers. I use this for almost every video. Uh, just to show you this little scene, kind of gives you a good feel for what you're going to hear and Power see. Now. I mean, for this being such a small tablet, Back like I'm really impressed out. with what we it can do. You.
All right, so that's enough of Transformers. Let's go into uh, what we can do with it. And what I did was on my SD card, uh, there is a slot for movies. And so you can just hit gallery and that will give your kids access to all of the videos that you put on your SD card. Um, some other things that people have asked me is you can't move apps to the uh, SD card. You most certainly can. You just have to know how to do it. So to do that, I usually use a program called File Manager. The other option is inside of your computer when you're logged in. You can, <clears throat> sorry, you can uh, access all of your apps, all your information, all the files, and you basically just have to move them over. Uh, to the SD card, they will still run. I made a Navi 2 video, but this is the, basically the same device. It's just a smaller version, a little bit different content. Um, if you can see on the bottom, I've added Angry Birds, the Amazon App Store, my File Explorer, and Netflix. Um, I wanted to show you one thing on the Amazon App Store real quick. If you already buy stuff for it, like my son has a uh, Kindle Fire HD. So if you wanted to go to uh, stuff that you already have. Um, there's some extra options if you use that bar. Uh, there's three dots and three lines. You can go to My Apps, and then you can go and select the Cloud button, and everything you purchased is going to be in there. And that just allows you, so you don't have to purchase the app again. Um, you can use it on multiple devices. So if one child has the Navi Junior, the other one has the Navi Two, um, then you can definitely access the same apps for both on all of them. Uh, you also have the Netflix, like I said, you can download that from the Amazon App Store. I use the File Explorer a lot. Um, that just allows me to move files around and use it, and it's very much like you would use with your Windows. Um, as far as content that's already included, you get a ton of Nickelodeon stuff. I'm going to go back to the Navi mode to show you that. It's um, all contained in one area, so it makes it a little easier. Uh, you also have the full wings challenge. Uh, I did a couple lessons just kind of show you guys that. And it's basically a lot of letters and numbers learning. Alright, I'm not going to sync it with what I've already played, but you basically just hit play and they get a whole adventure island to go to different places, do different lessons, and learn. And they earn coins and stuff like that. Um, you can choose different characters to use, so it's just another fun little option way to learn. Uh, you have a chore list, so you could put chores on there, and if they do their chores, then they get uh, special prizes, um, a certain amount of coins that they can spend to get new apps. You have your Me Genius, which is basically books that will read to you. Uh, they are retold stories, so uh, Peter Pan or something like that. It, it's retold Peter in a different Pan version. By J. M. Barry. Retold by Greg Warswick. Illustrated by Douglas Draper Jr. Wendy, John, and Michael. Alright, so you can also you can just read the book or it highlights as it reads, so it will read your child. There's several books on there. I believe there's twenty or thirty already on there. Um, also with like the file explorer, if you put stuff in the music. Um, they can definitely listen to their music. Uh, some of the Navi Junior, Nick Junior stuff is you'll see uh, Team Yumizumi. You've got some Dora, and these are all games that you can play. You've got uh, some different ABC games, um, some dress up with Dora, and like I said, the Team Yumizumi. Um, you've got different things you can read. You can read stories. You've got the Backyardigans, the Wonder Pets, Dora, Team Yumizumi. Um, I'm not, I've never seen Kai Lin, so that's something new for me. Um, you also have Watch, so if they want to watch episodes, they've given you an episode of each uh, one of these uh, kids' programs so that you can watch. And then you get into your regular content. Um, these are some fun games for them to play where they can learn animals, learn how to tell time, the alphabet, learning words, counting, and then you have some extra learning apps over here. Uh, they can practice writing, so you could get them a stylus and let them practice writing. Um, they have some measurements and weighing and some ABC stuff in there as well. And then again, some more some more fun stuff for them to do. Alphabet numbers, 
um, the slider, which I always loved these as a kid. We used to get them at like, Chuck E. Cheese, and you could slide the picture around and and um, make a picture out of it, and it's all mixed up. Uh, you have some puzzles, lots of puzzles, and that's so they can enjoy making puzzles. And there's dinosaurs, and looks like there's something snakes, and a garden one. So there's different puzzles in there, too. Uh, still have more stuff to go through. We have drawing, magic coloring, uh, lots of coloring stuff, a dinosaurs coloring, a fairies coloring. Uh, gives your kids lots of options to be creative. Um, they have first Spanish, so they can learn some Spanish on there. They've got a zoo app. Um, they can play hangman. Um, there's some preloaded music on there on the jukebox. Um, cars, ships, planes, and more. Um, they have a matching game, and anything else you add will just start going into the end of your uh, Nabby mode. I haven't added any extra apps, um, but it comes preloaded with a lot of stuff. I cannot see your child getting bored with it anytime soon. Um, so that completes, you know, kind of the educational and entertainment. There's a lot of stuff on here. It's definitely worth the price. Um, I like what's included in this much better than the Leap Pad or the Inno Tab. Uh, for $139, you're getting much more, and the new Ultras run in $149, so I just think this is a better purchase. Uh, you get a lot more included with it, and a lot of educational stuff, and you'll never have to buy cartridges. You can buy dollar apps through uh, the Amazon App Store, the Navi Store, and there's a bunch of free stuff, too. So... If you guys have any questions, want to see any videos on how to do anything else, I can definitely show you that, and I appreciate you watching the video.